Hello, welcome to my Grade 9 Integrated Arts homepage. As you can see, it looks very different from the standard course homepage that comes standard with any um, e-learning course on the LMS. And that is because I've done some customization to it. Today I'm going to show you how to create a homepage, how to create a custom nav bar, how to create widgets using embed code, like you can see here with my AHS Twitter feed. And I'm also going to show you how to create a custom banner using Photoshop. Okay, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to show you, this is a standard template within the LMS. And what I want to do is I want to create a new home page for this Upgrade 9 Applied Math course. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you come over and you're going to select Edit Course. Okay, and then from there, within the course administration, you're going to select Home Pages. Now, as you can see, there are a bunch of different templates that you can choose from, but what you want to do is you want to create a custom home page. So you're going to click this button, Create Home Page. And you must give it a name. For this purpose, I'm going to call it Test, although something that maybe relates to the course might make more sense, such as um, Applied Math 9, so that you can keep all of your different courses, um, the, um, the actual like home pages organized. So for this purpose, I'm going to call it test. And up here, um, this will allow me to include the name on the home page. So for my courses, I like to include this, although if you're going to get into custom banners down the road, which I'm going to show you, you may not want to include this here. But for the purpose of this activity, I'm going to include it. So I'm going to call it Applied Math 9. And from here, the layout, how do I want my... my um, my home page to look. So the standard is the two basic panel, although if we change the layout, there are a bunch of options for you to choose from. So you could have one panel, two panel, which it defaults to. Um, and as you can see, as I scroll through here, you can have more than two. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. And then here, here are widgets. And if I click add a widget, within the LMS, there are some standard widgets to choose from. And so for here, you can see here you've got the calendar, um, we've got a news feed, uh, different things like that that might be useful to you. So I like to have a nice big news feed. So if, I'm, if I have notes that I want to leave for my class that day, if I'm going to be away, then I put it right there in my news feed. So I'm going to click Add. Okay, and I'm going to come over to Add Widget over here. And I like my students to be able to see up front and center when they have assignments due. So I'm going to select calendar and I'm going to place it there. Okay, from here, um, if I have a certain color in mind for my home page, um, this is where I can change the color of those drop down bars. Okay, so right now it's defaulting to the dark green, although I could um, change the color of it. So I can choose custom background color and I could make it black. Um, over here, you can see here um, that there is gradient. So gradient would have two colors blending together. Um, I like to have it just standard dark, although you could have the gradient. And I'm going to click Save. Okay, and as you can see, it's updated. So I probably want to do the same to this one. So again, if I wanted to have gradient, I could have two colors blending into one. So say maybe I want black and red. And if I click Save there, you can see how it looks very different. I'm going to go back in there, and I'm just going to make it solid black so that it matches the other one. I'm going to click OK, Save. OK, and so that is basically... Um, I've done them I've created my home page so I'm gonna click Save and close and now I have to make that home page active so right now it's still defaulting to course default green that's for all Megwin so what I want to do is I want to come in here and I'm gonna scroll till I find um, um, applied math 9 or test I named it test okay and I'm gonna select apply 
Then if I go to my course home, you can see here that the look of it has changed. Okay, so here's my new, um, my new widget in the block. And then if I come over here, this one for whatever reason didn't update. So if I go into style this widget, I can again change it directly from that area. I'm gonna choose solid and I'm going to make it black. I'm gonna click save. Okay, and I've been able to update it right from my home page. Okay, so that is the first step to creating a home page.